Right, I am back from Santa Barbara where I was recording more courses for LinkedIn. We got a Dynamic Arrays course coming very soon, y'all. All right, look for that. And congratulations to Layla Garani for 100,000 YouTube subscribers in just two years. That is fantastic, fantastic. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to compare Excel's Flash Fill against Power Query's Add Column by Example. They do similar things, but Flash Fill is a whole lot more robust. The downside to Flash Fill is that it is not dynamic. So if you do need something inside a process that will repeat over and over again, then you got to do something in Power Query. But then the Power Query solution is going to be more complex. So let's compare these things. Here we've got these names that are all messed up, but we need to get the first and last names together. We've got Dr. Marvin Sinclair. We just want Marvin Sinclair in one cell. Coral Ibanez is all caps. Reverend Elton Meyer, we just want Elton Meyer. So we've got problems. All right. Flash fill. Marvin Sinclair. Now I'm going to go down and do Coral Ibanez. Has Flash fill been trained enough to give us a good result? Let's highlight this range. Go to data. Flash fill. Oh, wow, look at that. Janetta Cullen, it got rid of the misses. Yes, Elton Meyer, no more Rev. Gene Antwell, we've got the capital A. <laughs> Boom, flash fill. Let's slide this out of the way. Now let's go to Power Query. Click inside the data range from table slash range. We do have headers, add column, column from examples from all columns, Marvin Sinclair. Is this what we want Marvin Burns? No, we want Richard Burns there. Let's fix Coral Ibanez. We do want Lloyd Sinclair, but we don't want a lowercase r Rita French. Let's fix Rita French. Power Query has given up on us. That null is saying, I don't know what the hell you want from me. It has given up. So if this was a repeated process and we had to use Power Query to do this, we'd need something more involved. So let's cancel a lot of this and look at another example. Here we've got names and codes. What I want to dig out is Iva Perry. That's all proper case. Like when we get down to Candy Garson, we got to fix that one. So, but we want H-I. We don't want all of that. Let's go down to Candy Garson. Let's see if this will do what we need done. Data. Flash fill. Beautiful. Beautiful. And let's try one other thing. What if we want the name and that state abbreviation on the same row. So I'm going to slide this over. And let's say I don't want the name. I'm going to put an X, but then I'm going to put the HI. And then X and then GA. Look at that. It was ghosting. And did you see that? It's already guessing what we want. Highlight, flash fill, boom. There we go. So now what we can do go to home, replace, replace that X with nothing, replace all, okay, slide this up, we got what we wanted, the name and the state abbreviation are on the same rows, close this, slide this out of the way, let's try Power Query, data, Table slash range. Okay. Add column from example. Iva Perry. Let's fix Candy Garson. Okay. Look what it's done to Hawaii. It's changed it to H lowercase i. And all we want is the H I. 
Let's go down. We want the GA. We want the NM. It's kind of getting it. But look, it's got capital ROC for Rochelle Ansel. Let's see if we can fix this. Rochelle Ansel. Now we've got the full codes back. Let's try this. OR. NJ. It's not getting it. Lenny Parker is still all lowercase. Nestor Ray is still uppercase. And Power Query has too much pride to just return those nulls and give up. That's what I want to show you. Just a simple comparison of the column by example versus the flash fill. This is also a reason why we had to get on somebody who was talking about Excel is dead. He's all about Power Query, Power BI, Power Pivot. They're all great tools. But I could see a solution that requires importing with Power Query. A lot of data cleansing in Power Query. Take it into native Excel. Do flash fill. Take it back into Power Query. Strategy. Strategy. That's what's important here. Using the tools that are available to us. See you in the next video.